The people of Banbridge have a deep regard for the Arctic explorer Francis Crozier. After all, he's one of theirs and was responsible for discovering the Northwest Passage in the Canadian Arctic. That was an important discovery in 1848, but cost the lives of Captain Crozier and his crew. David Appleby is a native of Pennsylvania, and the family folklore proclaims a connection with Captain Crozier. On his return to his mother's native Banbridge, Professor Appleby is intent on proving or disproving the story that his people are descendants of the Crozier line. David Appleby's mother left Banbridge with her parents, Joseph Savage and Elizabeth Noddings, in the 1920s. Eighty years later, he's returned to his ancestral hometown with his extended American family. On day one, he and his cousin Cathy Dumont have come to pay their respects at the Crozier Monument, which dominates the northern approaches to Banbridge. We must take a look at this inscription. To perpetuate the remembrance of talent, enterprise and worth, as combined in the character and evidence in the life of Captain Francis Rawdon Moira Crozier. This monument has been erected by friends who, as they valued him in life, regret him in death. He was second in command with Captain Sir John Franklin and captain of HMS Ship Terror in the polar expedition which left England on the 22nd May, 1845. Beautiful. After David and his party checked into their bed and breakfast, he took up an invitation to visit the Crozier ancestral homestead, some six miles outside Banbridge. He's had no sleep for the past 20 hours, but he's intent on using every possible minute in pursuit of the Crozier link. This is Stramore House, which was built by the Croziers, who first settled here from Scotland at the end of the 17th century. The present-day inhabitant is Harry Watson, and his family's owned the property for generations now. Hello, Hello. Harry. Yes. I'm Dave Appleby. How do you do? How are you? Very well indeed. I uh, understand this home once belonged to the Croziers. I may be related and I was wondering if oh, I can yeah. ask you a few questions. Many about. years ago it was indeed, that's correct, yes. I think it was 1692 they came over, so they did, from Scotland apparently. Mm -hmm. They were given right. the choice right. of either coming over here or going, going to prison <laughs> in England, so they decided okay. to come over and they built a few houses around this area, so they did. Well, would it be an imposition to take a look inside? No, it's okay. You can have a look now. It's not dressed really tidy, I'm afraid. There's little evidence of the Crozier presence here now, but David did get an insight into the past splendor of Stramore House. Captain Crozier's ancestors were obviously well-to-do. Well, uh, here we are. Okay. This is our... Front room. Oh, this is, is this is this is beautiful. It's fairly well done up, so it is. It's more one of the right. more. This is this is the room, one that gives so. an idea. Hello, who That's are you? Poor man. Oh no, aren't you the cute? Big bad boy. He's a wild wee man, so he's. You know, my interest is trying to tr prove a link to Captain Crozier, and I was trying to think if he ever lived there, and I'm sure he didn't. Yeah. Just going through my mind, I know that it was William, and then John right. probably built this home. Right. And then there's two or three Georges. The right. latter George, of course, is the attorney in Banbridge, and then among right. his children were Francis, the captain, right. and Charlotte, who may or may not be my great-great-grandmother, and that's what we're we'll here to, to prove one out. way or the other. Yeah. That story of the Charlotte Crozier connection has passed down through several generations, but evidence to support the claim has long since disappeared. For David and his cousin Kathy, it's now a case of having to put the story back together again, piece by piece. Members of the family have wondered why I'm so intrigued with the family history, and I have no intellectual explanation for it. It just seems something that I'm compelled to do, that I have really no right to be a member of the family if I don't know where we came from. And I suppose in a way it helps me understand myself and my my folks and my sister, just to know everything I can about all those components that went into making up me. Before any attempt to rebuild the family history though, there's the delicate and important matter of an Irish-American family reunion to attend to. 
David and his wife Alice are joined for the evening by his American cousins. This is quite an international affair, a minor state occasion in fact. Hosts for the family get-together are Norma Jardine, her husband Bobby and their immediate family. We have here Alexander Nottings and his sister Mary from Glasgow. And Alex knew about us, but he called us the missing Noddings. We were all the missing link. He knew that there was an Elizabeth Noddings who had sailed to the States in the 1920s with her family, never to be heard of again, except of course to us. But for some reason or other, he was very perceptive, and not only did he keep checking the Noddings gen form, but he checked Savage. And one day he happened to see a listing for one Elizabeth Notting Savage posted by Kathy. And the rest of it is absolutely unbelievable because I got a posting from her that said in, in paraphrase form, I've just received an email from Alexander Nottings from Glasgow who may be your third cousin. And I wrote him back and I said, according to what we've just learned, I may be your third cousin and that you are related to Elizabeth Nottings, who I've always called Granny. And he emailed me back and he said, I have been looking for you for 20 years. And that's what started all this, folks. That's why we're here today. Well, there are also little other things that have been bothering us for a long time. Um, family lore suggests that we're related to Captain Francis Crozier of Northwest Passage fame. Are we or aren't we? Well, Uncle Art would say we couldn't possibly be because everybody knows that Captain Crozier had no wife and had no children. Kathy was out there on the email and she hooked up with a Martin Crozier who happened to give us one factful bit of information. And he said that uh, Charlotte, who was supposed to be our generation's great-great-grandmother, was Francis Crozier's sister. Well, gee whiz. If they're brother and sisters, isn't it conceivable that by virtue of their parents that we're all related by blood? <laughs> 